hoping this to be the perfect way. Oh, no way. Jeans built for New York City. Why you say, how you say, I say, you sit, I say, you watch. Today we're looking at a pair of jeans made by Naked and Famous that are only sold in their New York City store. They are exclusive to their New York City store because they are a pair of souvenir jeans. Naked and Famous is always known for doing something crazy. Like they have milk jeans, which I made a video on. They did Kevlar. They have fireproof weft jeans. They have all this cool stuff. But Bayzad, who I don't want to he's my friend. I don't want to say he's my friend until he says that he's my friend, but if he does say he's my friend, I would go as far to say that we are now best friends. Which leads us to a very important thing that I need to tell you, not in this video, but soon. I have to make sure I'm not muted. I've been doing this thing lately where I've had to redo everything because I've been muting. Them. Anyways, like I said, this is part vlog, part sit down, so let's get to it. You're welcome. Mm -hmm. Come on. Mm, it's not a good sign. Why, why am I doing this for you? Hello, I have the worst news probably you've ever heard. I left all of my denim jackets on Cape Cod. So I'm in New York. I'm going to Naked and Famous today, and I'm gonna be embarrassed because I have to wear this hoodie to one of the biggest denim stores ever. And Bayzad and I, Bayzad from Naked and Famous, we're friends. We've been on the phone together and talked twice. Yo, yo. Yo, yo, what's up? I can't tell you what we've been talking about on the phone, but I will soon. It's big news, baby. I will not be buying a denim jacket today. But go ahead and throw that one on. Sweet. Yeah. Elephant sevens. Real quick, if you like this video, you should subscribe, like, comment, follow me on Instagram, and call my mother. I got these pants tailored by Stephen Dang at Rail Car Denim. I tried to tailor them myself, and I ripped them, and then hand sewed them back together, and they were too tight, and I couldn't move my legs. Here, he's just vegging out. Yeah, I feel like you're having more and more of a city experience. Organizer, uh -huh. another cabinet organizer for my pan lids. Blah blah. Everything's different because I got a haircut. So to be honest, it's not that I don't like my haircut. It's just that I hate it. And then before you know it, we were off to Manhattan, Soho in particular, where G wagons roam free throughout the land. People smell so strongly of expensive perfumes and colognes. You can smell that someone was there. 10 minutes after they left. Anyways, we landed in Soho and things were off to a great start. Taylor, look, Empire State Building. Oh my God, I think that's the Empire State Building. Taylor, is that the... Wow. I can't believe it's an empire. Oh, no, 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 no. My, that's the empire. Oh, that right there? Yeah. Oh see, my god. It is beautiful. I can't believe we got to see the Empire State Building. So we had a good time. I oh, I haven't been in Manhattan too much, but it is, de well, it's definitely different than Brooklyn. Okay, so finally we got to the Naked and Famous New York City store. Hey, how's it going? What's up? Yeah. Noah? Yeah, yeah Michael. Noah. Michael. This is Taylor. 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 Good, good to meet you guys. Nice to meet yeah. you too. This is Noah. Since you didn't meet him in real life, here's a very quick rundown of Noah. From what I gathered in the hour that I've known him. He's incredibly nice, super chill, has a great voice, and when he sees things he likes, or if something is really good, he calls it the Cadillac of. So, for example, the Union Special machine that we'll get into in a second, that is the Cadillac of Union Specials. Union Special 43200G Bulldog. Nice. The vintage Cadillac of hemming machines, essentially. Wow. I do think that Noah is the Cadillac of Naked and Famous employees. He was awesome. 
So is Zeke, but we haven't met Zeke yet. I do want to bring Noah to a Cadillac store and say, which car is this? And he will say, oh, well, that would be the Cadillac of Cadillac. Our floors are actually made of Japanese denim. No way. Yeah, so we have real raw Japanese denim floors here. We're the only retail space outside of Japan to actually have these. I mean, you can kind of see like a, you know, especially right here where we have people trying stuff on. Fades, yeah, right, fades right. like a pair of jeans There's some well, nice fades. Which is, which is blocked here. It's actually hand dipped in indigo. So you have this wonderful variation. Um, and then even even our, our, uh, our counter here will fade a little bit as time goes on. And one day the store will fade to a nice bright white. Single jean up here started off dark blue and raw, just like what we sell in store. And they were all worn in by customers and staff members and then you know donated to us. And what do you got on? Uh, I got on the natural indigos right now. So nice. yeah, I got about a little over a year wear on them, but you know, they, this is one of my personal favorite fabrics we offer. Most jeans are dyed with what's called pure indigo, which is technically synthetic. These guys are dyed with real natural indigo from the indigo ferro plant. So it makes them a little more special in that regard, and it kind of gives them that nice lighter shade of blue as well. Right, right. And they kind of wear into kind of a nice, almost like vintage look. These are actually all individual pages of vintage manga from the owner of Naked and Famous's personal collection and um, they're all dyed with indigo, of course. Right. Half 18 ounce big slub denim, and then this is authentic antique Japanese boro. The curtains are actually very heavy. It doesn't, may not seem like it when Noah pushes it aside, but I had a lot of trouble opening the curtains. And then finally, there what there's a secret passageway, which Taylor and I were freaking out about, and we were like, oh my God, a secret passageway, and Noah was actually like, shh, shh. It's only a secret if you don't yell it's a secret in the store. Brandon, the founder of Naked and Famous, when he was designing the, the store here, he wanted one specific detail, and that was secret door. So, secret door. Yeah, so Brandon's right. also a collector of many Japanese antiques, so he has quite the collection of Kokeshi dolls, yep. and he found this to be the perfect way. Oh, no way. So. Then he went in there and closed the door and screamed, beep, beep, denim robots are charging for three hours. And then we met Zeke. I bumped Zeke. Give me a bump. Oh, huh. Pretty sure Zeke was the denim robot. Okay, so then we actually get to some raw denim, the pants. Yeah, wow, they are way softer than I thought. It's amazing. So that's the Supima cotton. I need to tell you that I am blurring part of these out. The, the part being two parts, the boobies here. There's no two ways about it. Miss New York here is completely naked. Well, I can't tell actually, I haven't seen her. I don't know if YouTube would demonetize me, but just to be safe, I'll blur it. So Alvin Lee, he did the artwork for our Made in Japan series. Um, okay, gotcha. So we, 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 we got him to, to do the New York City pair for us as well. Okay, so quick breakdown of these jeans. They are 12 and a half ounce broken twill. Now, if you don't know what broken twill is, it was invented by Wrangler because way back when, all jeans were unsamphorized, which means when they got wet, they shrunk a ton, up to 10% generally, so they got a lot smaller. But a byproduct of that was the way the twill was weaved, either left hand or right hand, which is where you see the diagonal lines on the pants, they, the leg would twist, so the selvage line, or the side of the pants, would twist forward. Now, since raw denim is like a subculture, people like that it twists forward, but they used to not be very well liked. So, Wrangler invented broken twill, which is a split between right hand and left hand twilled denim, and it doesn't twist as much, so that's really nice. This denim is sand fried, and most denim is sand fried, which got rid of the leg twist issue basically altogether, so that's not really an issue anymore, but, it still does have some really cool properties. And Noah said, They have like a really, really deep indigo dye. So I think these are gonna fade really, really nicely. Okay. The store manager, Steve, he's been wearing his a little bit early for a yeah, while yeah, and yeah. he's already starting to see some fades. I've said this only about one other raw denim item, which was the 316 jackets that they feel like they have so much indigo dye or sulfur dye if they're black that it actually looks wet when it fades. But this denim itself looks wet in general with indigo dye. Besides that though, the New York colors are on the selvage ticker and there is a vegetable leather patch with the naked girl once again on the back. Hello, I also forgot to mention broken twill because broken twill is a combination of left hand and right hand, kind of like a melting pot, kind of like New York City. Also, denim is very tough, kind of like New York City. See where they're going with this? Very nice. These are wicked soft. It's crazy. Yeah. It's crazy, huh? Yeah, okay. for real. These are the 31s. 31s, okay. I was a terror since the public school era. Bathroom passes. And then we have Taylor, my girlfriend, 
who never supported raw denim because I would buy the heaviest raw denim I could possibly find, which I will admit, it is miserable to touch me when I am in my full denim armor. It's miserable for her, she hated it, I've said it many times, but... It's, oh. Oh, hello. <laughs> Whoa, those look great! I know, so as always, I gotta get this whole thing, but I think that the one is I think they look great, dude. Let me see again. So like, I think they fit amazing. This is a nice fit. I, I, I love this. Like she is now a denim head, so here's a little celebration highlight reel. Woohoo! Okay, I have another pair of incoming. Taylor's jeans, her first pair of salvage denim. Very exciting. Very exciting. Great. Couldn't be. That's that's. I that was pretty, that was my dream. Welcome to the club, Taylor. Happy to have you. I wouldn't describe Taylor as a raw denim maniac, but I would describe her as someone who will accept pants that have a salvage line if they are very soft. But while she was trying on her jeans, something happened. I spotted the denim jackets. Oh, yeah. oh, there she goes. Taylor pulled me back to get me to check out a pair of her pants, but I was hooked at that point. Poor bud. She wasn't a big fan of my stiff denim. Until Noah grabbed me and said, we have to hem your pants, Michael. So we went to go do that. So it sounds like we'll split the difference. Yeah, perfect. I love watching people use sewing machines, and this was no exception. The noise that sewing machines make, also not the Union Special, but there are. Look up chain stitch sewing machines on YouTube and find like an old one that only did a chain stitch. It's like a little single head that goes up and down and makes the most, I'll just play it right here. That is the best, I love those. So as much as Taylor tried and as much as Noah tried to distract me with hemming my pants, I couldn't stop looking at the jackets and I ended up walking out with the Okayama Spirit 4 denim jacket. Kind of the raindrop phase. Exactly, exactly. Yeah, cool. exactly. Yeah. But go ahead and throw that one on. Sweet. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah? You think it's it, right? I don't think it's small. It's small would be too small. Okay, I agree. Did you get my hands? I love it. And I said that I wasn't gonna get a type three denim jacket until I had my own, but I have some very exciting news and this was a little bit of a celebration, which I will tell you again in a new video. So you should definitely subscribe, like I said before. <laughs> <laughs> we already said bye in real life, so I said we have to fake bye. All right, see ya. Oh yeah, yeah. Oh, thank you. We didn't leave before telling Noah our plans and we said we were going to get dinner. And Taylor said, I'm in the mood for Italian food. And Noah said, that stinks that little Italy is so far away. To which Taylor and I, some non-New York locals said, oh, that stinks. I thought it was pretty close. Oh well. And he was like, whoa, whoa, whoa. It, it, no, it is close. I was just joking. And we were like, ah, ha, ha, ha. Cadillac of jokes there, Noah. So before you know it, Taylor and I were dead in the middle of little Italy, little did we know that every riddle to middle man didn't do diddly. And I told Taylor that I really, when we were telling Noah about going to get dinner, I really wanted to invite him. And Taylor was like, what do you think the best case scenario of asking a guy in the middle of his shift that you just met an hour ago if he wants to go get dinner with you. And I was like, I don't know. I guess the best case scenario would be that he leaves his shift and leaves the denim, just leaves the store open so people can still come in as they please and sits down and has the Cadillac of dinners with us. Anyways, then when we were walking around, I felt it. I felt why these jeans were made for New York City. And I felt it as I walked outside, people just started to double take at my pants. And I was like, I know, I know, I know. People started to touch them and they were like, this feels, it, it feels cohesive but gritty like New York City. People were asking me for their autograph and I said sure okay I'll take it. Subway fares were free. Frank Sinatra came back and sang. It was incredible. Then as I was leaving Soho with Taylor some girl said that's a lot of denim. 